So far with Hurricane Helene, over 44 people found dead over 500,000 people without electricity and power. And I'm going to show you how to help these people while making a lot of money. Now, let me warn you, if you are one of those people who think is something wrong with uh, making a little bit of money in the service field, then I would urge you to leave. But this is a business, but it also helps people and does good. A lot of people are doing business hurting people. You might be a stripper or OnlyFans model or, or something worse or a cop that beats the hell out of people. This is something that's going to help people rebuild and get assistance. Okay, so this these are four programs that you will need to sign up for. This is an affiliate program for Storm Insurance. This is an affiliate program for uh, flood insurance. Now this one right here is an emergency funds for them. It's called get funds quickly. And then we have this one right here, which will pay you $400 every time someone calls that number for flood or water damage, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to storm chase. You're gonna storm chase from a safe distance online you don't have to go out in the world in the water go out in the wind and potentially you know lose your life or anything like that so first you want to become an expert at tracking storms okay uh before they hit or around the time they hit okay so we come over here this is google trends you can literally google google trends the first keyword we put in there is storm the second keyword we put in there is earthquake the third keyword we put in as tornado and then the next one we put in there is hurricane if you come over here you'll see where they are right now this is just in the past day okay you can put it to where it's four hours ago if you want to to see the latest uh news and information so four hours ago you'll see that the word hurricane is trending way more than the rest of these so technically we could just go ahead and exit out of tornado we can exit out of earthquake, even though it's an earthquake over there in California right now. It's always a dang old earthquake over there. So now we have storm and hurricane. We stroll down. We see the city, South Carolina, North Carolina. And we're going to come back over here in a minute and talk about the news and how we're going to uh, traffic jack the news so that you can make money helping people uh, make it through these storms and everything like that, okay? But anyway, we come back over here, South Carolina, North Carolina, Hawaii, Montana, or oh, uh, Iowa. All right, another storm after Helene. So we saw that, uh, I think it's called Joyce, Joyce or something like that. I think that's the storm right after Helene, and they're talking about the damage. People are searching these. These are search terms that people are searching, and it's very important that you, like, remember that, all right? Then we come down here, you see Hurricane. So Hurricane Helene is going all through Florida, all the way up to North Carolina and South Carolina. Now, let's come over here. Uh, the reason why I wanted to come over here is to show you my history of doing offers based off of trends, okay? So we stroll down here, boom, we'll come down here. As you can see, I've made over 26000 well, around $26,000 with this one right here. OK, but I want you to see which offer is the one that made the most. OK, it is this one right here. All right. We have get funds quickly. This one has made seven thousand dollars. And then this one has made eighteen thousand dollars. All right. So I now I own my own affiliate network. So I don't really use this one except to show you guys proof or whatever. So how would you go ahead and jump ahead of these storms and be able to make $400 off of a water damage call, make a hundred bucks emergency uh, funds? Like yesterday I did a video talking about Navy Federal's emergency relief, you know what I'm saying? And people can get help that way, all right? But then we have storm insurance to help these people rebuild. So you can literally just off of one person, helping one person, you can make a thousand or more dollars off of that, guys. And that's why I call this storm. Once you can see, as you can see, this one 20 hours ago, 20 hours ago has over 148,000 views. 
All right. You think like, what? Hold on. So people are looking at videos while they're in the hurricane. Yeah. A lot of people are trying to see how close it is to them. If it's going away. So, you know, if they still have signal and stuff like that in the area, I remember when I was in St. Louis and we were having a hurricane and we were up in the dang old closet. I was looking at the videos. <laughs> I was looking at the videos while we was all in the closet. We didn't have no basement at the time. I'm like, oh, snap, what if it comes out here? You know what I'm saying? So, yes, you, you people like check out the dang on videos, even when they're in the midst of it. All have over 100,000 views on the 119 views. So why am I telling you that? OK, so, for example, this one is five hours. I can't like go there with you with that one i'm trying to give you guys an example okay so here we go this one is five minutes that's way better okay hurricane home made unsurvivable storm surge that's a nice title right there so we will take the share button right there copy that we will come over here and you don't have to be there to chase the storm all right, they're doing all the work for you. It's called leverage, okay? So now we're going to get the word out using footage that they captured with their life and all of that extra stuff. And we're going to offer the people that view the video these services right here. And when they call this number and they stay on there for over 120 seconds and it converts, you get 400 bucks just because that company can go out after the storm and try to handle the water damage. Uh, they can get emergency funds from this one and you will get affiliate uh, commissions from if they go ahead and sign up for you know storm damage. A lot of people should have insurance if they live in Florida or those states down there, they should have had it already. But Whatever, you know, nobody thinks it's going to ever happen to them. So we, we like to wait to the last minute to get insurance and all that type of stuff. I'm guilty. All right. But I'm not in Florida. All right. So as you can see, I'm downloading the uh, the five minute video. You'll be able to see it up here at the top. And I'm going to show you what to do with it after I show you what to do with the video. Look forward to this. We're going to come over here to Facebook. I'm going to show you how to generate traffic in that area make it very simple to like target people from that area and get them to get uh you know served by what you're gonna like help them with all right so we'll let me make sure we download this ah okay boom all right so as you guys can see like i'm just showing you step by step I owe nothing back. This is you can make a crazy amount of money off of this and you can feel good because you're going to be helping people. Let me copy this. OK. You're going to be helping people make it through. All right. So let's see. We're X out of that now. X out of that now. I don't know, I already showed you that. You make sure you keep these words that I showed you because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be coming back daily. And you're going to be doing this if you want to make consistent money or you can just do this once a week, because guess what? There are always natural disasters all around the world, no matter what the season is. So you can always be of service and help somebody and you can make a living like this. OK, so now. You have the keywords, the keywords are Hurricane Helene and uh, damage after the storm and all of that. So what you do is you create a, a, a new channel. You don't want to put this on your main channel. Let's see. I forgot how we go and create a new channel. I think we go to settings. We go to um, channel and status. Ah, no. I was supposed to click on add channel. My bad. Let me go back. Where I'm at in Panama, the internet is kind of slow. Got the mountains behind me and the ocean in front of me. So give me a second. All right. Add. Going to click on add right there. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Ah, Jesus. Let's do this, man. Okay. So now you're going to create a channel. And you just name it something simple. Storm Chasers uh, Charity. I don't know, something catchy. And then you just create the channel. Okay. It's very simple, guys. 
It's very, very, very simple. All you're gonna do is re-upload the other people's content. You can uh you can react to it if you want to make it original, you know what I'm saying? If you plan on like monetizing with ads, because if you just upload it like just steal the content without like modifying it or doing anything to it, then um, <laughs> you're not going to be able to monetize it a little bit later when when you get all the watch hours and subscribers. You're going to be able to get the watch hours and subscribers just based on the fact that you're going off of trends. But if you want to monetize it, you're going to need to do make it like original. Why is this saying? Okay, I am not in that channel. I'm not in that channel. Okay. Let's go to the channel. It should show up now. Where are we at? Uh, Storm Chasers. Where is it? Does anybody see the new channel I just made? Storm, okay, here we go. Storm Chasers Charity. Uh-huh. I'm not editing this video, by the way. <laughs> Hopefully y'all attention spans is calm enough and you're attentive and want to learn how to make some dang on money. Like I shouldn't have to like edit this and stuff. Right. Um, okay. So now we're going to click on upload videos and we're going to find that hurricane video. Here it is right here. Boom. Like I said, if you plan on monetizing the channel a little bit later, or have your own little weather type situation channel, <laughs> then uh, you're, you're definitely going to want to, you know, modify the video, speed the video up, put some type of filter on it, add some commentary in the background or something. Oh my God, I can't put what's happening to these people. Make sure you guys get assistance in the comments, right? You know, put an overlay of, you know, letting them know that they can get assistance in the comment section or in the description letting them know what's happened while you real. So that's just an idea that you guys can do, just like the Weather Channel. I mean, think about it. This is TV. TV, so ever since we were kids growing up, they filmed storms and filmed like tornadoes and stuff and what happens in the middle of those uh, live streams from those reporters. A commercial selling you Pampers or selling you Campbell's chicken noodle soup or something like that. So this is not anything new, guys. This is just an online safe version of storm chasing that I'm bringing to you guys. Nobody has ever taught anything like this before. OK, so you're going to be ch uh, chasing these storms through trends. You know, make sure you click Creative Commons so that you don't get hit with nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, language is English if it's in, if it's in the United States anyway. And uh, check no on all these boxes right here. It's not just for kids. And we can just put that right there. And uh, Helene Storm, you can put a couple of keywords in there. Hurricane Helene Live, Hurricane Helene. And when you get real good with this, guys, you want to go to each of the cities. You know what I'm saying? Search the hurricane, the natural disaster in each of the places that it was affected and have a video for each one of those places. That way you will be able to cover all of the keywords. OK, so we got news. We have a news. OK, and then um, we'll just go ahead and say no issues found. I'm surprised it's not copyrighted. <laughs> I guess they'll get around to it. I haven't even did anything to modify it, right? So they'll get around to it. Eventually, it'll say something. Okay, so it's unlisted. And then we're going to go ahead and go over there to the Facebook. And I'm going to show you how to run an ad for this, okay? All right, so let's see. Hey, Bob, dirty pop. All right. And we're just going to schedule this to go out at 11.15. Okay, so at 11.15, it will premiere and go live and people will be able to see it. And what's going to happen is what you want to do once you get approved for these is you're going to put these in the, the description right here and in the pinned comment of the video, okay? 
All right, so let me X out of that, X out of this. Now let me show you Facebook. So I'm giving you guys a, a, a very simple bare bones Facebook uh, ad that you can throw up that will work, okay? So first, what you wanna do is make sure you have all of the cities and states that it is affecting the storm, okay? You don't have to do this with this storm. I mean, you can. It's, you can probably still capitalize on it. Uh, but you got to be on time with this stuff, guys, because there's people that do this for a living, not really online for real, for real, but they, like, they're on the ground after storms and stuff. I was just watching the new Twisters movie, and there was a dude there, like, buying up all the real estate right while people was, their houses was still you know, jacked up and messed up and they was crying and all of that. And people th thought he was evil, but to tell you the truth, I mean, what they going to do with the destroyed land? So he was making them like offers for the land because like they ain't have nothing else any damn way, right? So anyway, uh, Helene Hurricane. So we'll just put Helene Hurricane. You want to put a name so you can track your ads and know which ones are doing uh, the best to bring you the money in. Then you just scroll down and click. Where is the damn? Hold on, let me move this up. Oh, the blue next button. All right, so now we're on the next page and you can just put the same thing for the ad set name. You're going to choose the page. I didn't create a page for this but make sure you just choose the page after you create a page for your weather situation. Now, this is extremely important. Do not forget to change this. You're not trying to target the entire United States. You're only targeting what's happening, okay? So let's see if it got popular enough to where it has its own interest. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, so let's see, hurricane. Okay, no, there's no interest in that yet. But we do know Florida has been hit. So you want you don't want to just target the entire Florida unless it just really washed the whole dang on place. So what I heard was Tampa, Florida was hit. Um Clearwater was hit. Okay, and then, you know, some other places like in North Carolina and all of that stuff like that. Boom. So you'll just fill all that out. I'm not going to sit and do that all day, but you'll just fill all that out. Okay, use original audience. Thought I just did that. What the hell I just put that other stuff in? Clear. Oh, that was the places. Okay, so now... We're going to say Hurricane Helene for the interest. Let's see if they got something for that. Nope, not yet. Hurricane. Nope, nothing for that either. Okay, so for the... Uh, um, let's just target people looking for news. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to find the news stations that are actually in those areas, and you will put that up there. Or you can just leave it blank and target the whole area because the topic is going to be big enough. And right here where it says advanced placements, you're going to, where the hell did it take me? Click on manual placements right here. You're going to delete Instagram unless you have an Instagram for this brand so far. So uncheck audience, uncheck Instagram. Why do y'all do it's a delay like a mug. Okay, uncheck. Uncheck. There we go. All right, uncheck the marketplace. You can keep the stories if you got video. A video will convert way better on here, y'all. Especially since what's going, what's going on right now. You could, for this instance, keep search results because people might be searching for uh, hurricane videos, especially if they're local. So it, you, I'll let you decide that. But this should be fairly a fairly cheap, 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 cheap Facebook ad, especially if you can make a few racks 
per day off of this. So it's going to be super cheap because it's extremely relevant. What do I mean by that? It's something that's relevant to everybody in that area. This is not a regular Facebook ad where, oh, well, you have to be interested in this or interested in that. Nah, everybody in the area is affected. They're either at the airport flying away, trying to fly away, or uh, trying not to, you know, drown or, or something like that. Are they trying to like recover or something like they all got something in common. So this is the primary text you want. Keep it very simple. If you're in these areas, you qualify for emergency assistance. If okay, if you experience a storm like this, you qualify for help. Click. Learn more to see assistance options you qualify for. That's it. So now you ask, <laughs> let me just say, oops, Jesus, I hate all this bull crap they put right here. Gone. Okay, so right here for the headline, what you want to put is the same thing. Click learn more to access assistance. Keep it super simple, y'all. You ain't got to do too much, okay? Me, I like to put emojis pointing down by these quotations, you know, just to highlight it and give it a little, little something, something, little something, something. Okay, so now you want to always make sure the ad uh, call to action is congruent with what you told them to do in the text, which was to click learn more right there, okay? So now, what do we want for the media? Okay, it's very simple. We can just simply like screenshot a damaged area or something like that. Hurricane Helene damage. Okay, now. It's very good to have people in the images if possible, but if you can't, then, you know, hey, let's go to Canva. I was just going to screenshot it and call it today, but these images aren't big enough. Kind of look kind of blurry, too. I don't know. Maybe that's just my vision. So we'll go. Come, come on, come on. What would you like to create? <sighs> Facebook posts. Facebook cover, Facebook ad. Here we go. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, I can't say I ain't ever did nothing for you. I charged you a dime, and now I can turn y'all into some legitimate storm chasers. Yes, you can be a storm chaser without leaving your house or your couch, without getting in danger. If you if you are in those areas, that, I mean, I would strongly suggest you not be doing this right now. I mean, I, I don't believe you are. <laughs> you know, like, you need to be, like, focusing on, you know, like, surviving and all of that, but... Um, if you are not in these areas right now, sure, you need to get to work. Uh, how do we get this without NBC? Let's see. Let's just cover up that NBC sign. And bring this right here. There we go.
All right. So you want to make sure it's clear. So I'm going to click the edit button and try to like brighten it up a little bit, even though I'm pretty sure it's not a bright, bright day there. Okay. And uh, we could just leave it like this. Okay, but we're gonna put a button on her button. We're gonna say we're gonna say get assistance. Get emergency assistance. We'll put a turn this white so everybody can see it. And then we'll put a click. We can put a finger. Yeah, we'll put the finger. There we go. American Elaine and click. Boom. So I just gave you the entire situation. This is just for Hurricane, but I mean, it's the same process if you want to like target a flood or, or a tornado or an earthquake or a mudslide or something like that. It'll be the same damn situation. So then we just come in here, we click on media, add image. And we'll upload. And let that load for a second. Let me know in the comments if anybody has ever shown you something like this. I need to know how my innovation game is. Let's see, skip that. You can get mad if you want to, done. Okay, so once you press, it's gonna show text as well as the creative. And you just put her to the right. Boom. So this is like here. Emergency assistance. If you've experienced a storm like blank, you qualify for emergency assistance. Click learn more to access that. And it's going to resonate with anybody that's in these areas that's going through this or whatever. So even if you catch them after the storm, we already know another storm is just is an, it's inevitable to happen. Maybe not this year, but next year. So they still need storm assistance for next year. They still need like rebuilding services. They still need all of that, guys. So if you can pay attention to Google Trends and a lot of these monitors and stuff like that, then you'll be able to make a lot of money as an online storm chaser. It is not unethical. This is business. And you're helping people. What are you going to do? Just sit there and watch from, from the TV or from the computer and talk about, oh, how it's so sad what those people are going through. Okay, well, what if you can give them some emergency money, help them with some emergency medical service, help them rebuild, help them get their roof fixed or and all of that type of stuff. So there's nothing wrong with you getting paid to do something 
like that. Okay. All right. So you guys got it from here.